Hi guys, welcome to Travel World. Today we are traveling from Modena to Genova, a port city in Italy. So let's begin the fun. So we have reached Genova around 9 a.m. Here, let's meet Mr. Reddy, and this is our Hassan bro. Hi, and Afshar. Today is a bit cloudy, but temperatures in Genova are bearable in winter compared to other cities in Italy. As you can see, there is a small train which takes you around the city. Our first stop is at Vasallo Neptune. It is a floating replica of a 17th century Spanish galleon built for the pirate movie. Oh, sis loves pigeons a lot. She used to feed them at home every day. She says few of the pigeons have flown to see her in Genoa. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. I think she loves the fishes too. Now she is feeding the fishes. Now she started feeding seagulls too. Mm. Says, let's go to the aquarium now. It's getting late. The aquarium of Genova is at the harbor side. It's really huge, and one of the largest aquariums in the world. It's filled with many marine animals and freshwater species in this aquatic tank. You can see snakes, dolphins, sharks, seals, penguins, and also starfishes, octopus. And our little Nemo too. Now it's our skating time. Eddie and Bro insisted on going for a skate and to have some fun. But this is our first time, and we are definitely not a pro like this. So things like this do happen. So we just take one road, one whole round, holding the side of the walls very tight. As expected, it started raining very heavily. We waited a bit, and as we have umbrellas, we started to go out. On the way to Genova, a lady in the train suggested us to take a cable car, but we had no idea what a cable car is, so we thought it should be something similar to a rope. We finally reached the point, but all we see are buildings. So we entered one of the buildings. To our surprise, we found this red line that is inside a building. Seriously, we don't need to buy tickets, and it's free. But we entered into the tunnels. Honestly, we are confused. As you can see, people are sitting casually, so this might not be a sign for tourists. Slowly, the sign came out of the tunnels, and you can see the train is going up the hill. And there were stops in the between where people are getting down. So there is a local train for the people in the city. the train stopped at its last stop and we thought let's go out the station and see around we found there is an observatory near by we walked towards it and we found the beautiful view of the city and it's called casaletto you can see the cars being parked and okay even the ships are being parked at the harbor it's still raining we took some photos and returned back to the city in the same train next place we are going to go is luna park there are lots of tunnels within the city so we should cross this tunnel to go to luna park so here while walking in the tunnel we found a sub tunnel which looked a bit fancy and we just want to check where would this lead to okay then there was lift at the end of the sub tunnel close the doors mm it's been a while now we are little tense because it's only return one floor and it's already been five minutes Finally we have reached here. You can see this has led us to another view point. It's a little bit closer and you can see the ocean and the harbor. The city is completely packed with the buildings and hills. Here also you can see many different pathways. Yeah. that are connected from here to the other buildings the view point to the other buildings finally we are done with the views and we came back in another lift and we have ended up here 
so far genova has given us lot of surprise view points now it's time to luna park yay we had lots of fun in genova trip and here are some of the views that we took in luna park it's a really fun park you can enjoy a lot we had lots of fun in genova trip and here are some more images of genova city so guys we'll be leaving soon to last page here you can find the link of last page here video below and see you soon in last video guys link like subscribe and share